Hey everybody, my name is Amber Kuyper. I'm a mom of four. I'm also the blogger behind mommiesmetime.com and I run an online fitness community called Koinonia Athletic. And oftentimes I'll get asked, how did you pick that name? How did you land on Koinonia Athletic? Well, today I am excited to tell you this story. So when we when my husband and I went into this business venture and we thought, you know, what is the heart behind why we're doing this? Why do we want to have a team of coaches underneath of us? And as we kept talking, we thought about so many different names, so many different directions that we could really take it. Um, you know, we wanted it to stand out a little bit, be a little bit different. We didn't want it to be like typical cheesy Christian um, lingo. Um, and we really wanted it to be something that we would get excited about, that we could have a really um, powerful brand behind as we grow as well. And so we kept praying about it, we kept talking about it, and soon enough we landed on the word Koinonia because we had heard about it. Actually, back when we were in college, there was a service called the Koinonia service. And it happened once a year on our college campus. Um, and it was a it was a time when the entire community would come together and really dedicate the up upcoming school year to God. And so as I came across that word again several years later, it just brought back all those memories for me of how powerful it can be to be in Christian community with other people. And so I looked into the word a little bit, and it turns out that koinonia is the Greek word, which means joint participation. It Another word for that would be communion, um, sharing in something together. Um, fellowship would be another way to say it. And in that moment, as I was reading the definition to Jake, I still remember we were in the car on the way to somewhere, and we both agreed that this is the name that we need to have. And it just it felt right. We had peace about it. We got excited thinking of who is God going to bring onto this team um, to really be in fellowship with us, to jointly participate in helping others achieve health. And the significance for me that goes so much deeper than having, um, you know, a toned body or losing weight is really just how are we working together to be the very best version of the body of Christ to really share that and give hope and inspiration to the world. So that's why we chose the name, and it's been so fun. And, you know, people, it's a little tricky to say, but it is Koinonia Athletic, if you are curious again or need a refresher. And it's just really all about our desire to work together, to do this together, to create an online fitness community where people feel like they have a home, where they have people who get what they're trying to accomplish. And so I am just thrilled for you to get to know us a little bit more um, as the week finishes out here. But gosh, we are so just excited to see who God has this week to join our community. Um, it's, you guys, it's so much more than selling products. It's really just finding a powerful tool to draw other people in to really encourage and give them hope in this life that can sometimes feel a little bit hopeless. So that's Koinonia Athletic. It's joint participation. It's communion. It's community. It is just being together to have a common purpose of being healthy so that we can really live out our bigger calling in, in this life because each of us, each one of you, has a specific reason that you are on the earth today. And so if we can really focus on what that is and how can we, you know, lean on each other's strengths to really fulfill our mission, that's when this life gets really fun because we are in this together. We're not out on a limb. And so that's Koinonia Athletic. I It's just so fun to retell the story because my heart just lights up thinking about all the people who we are going to bring into this amazing community. So thanks for listening. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day.